This match was staged at the Stadio Cita del Tricolore as part of a fundraising drive for victims of last year's earthquake in the region. Leinster went into the game in good form, knowing that a bonus point win would put them in the driving seat for a home semi-final. Zebre went into the game, bottom of the table, and still looking for their first win of the campaign. The sides exchanged penalties in the first six minutes, the returning Johnny Sexton first for Leinster and Daniel Halangahu replied for Zebre. Try number one came in the tenth minute. Andrew Goodman releasing second row Tom Denton on the wing and the big man from York stormed over for his first try of the season. The Italians rocked on their heels, Sexton converted to make it ten points to three. Within five minutes, Leinster had struck again. When the sides met in Dublin in September, Fergus McFadden scored two tries and he was back in the try-scoring business again this time. Sexton did the spade work before feeding the supporting runner McFadden, whose pace left the Zebra defenders for dead. It was all too easy for the Irish international. Once again, Sexton converted and it was 17-3. Leinster dropped their intensity and it was Zebre who got the next score in the 25th minute and it was deserved. Winger Sinotti Sinotti showing a combination of good footwork and a quick turn of pace to get away from a slightly lacklustre attempted tackle. The small home crowd had something to cheer. Alan Gahu converted to leave it Zebre 10, Leinster 17. In the 38th minute, Mauro Bergamasco tipped Brian O'Driscoll to the turf off the ball. A challenge that O'Driscoll clearly wasn't happy about, but the referee Neil Patterson took no further action despite the Leinster man's protestations. The last play of the first half saw Zebra get back on level terms. With the visitors having taken the foot off the pedal, it was probably deserved. It was Halangahu who managed to evade the despairing dive by Kevin McLaughlin to break the Leinster defensive line for a try under the posts. The man from New South Wales converted his own score to leap the sides level 17 points apiece at the break. Four minutes after half-time, Leinster were back in front with another Sexton penalty and almost immediately that lead was increased further. When the ball was fed back to Sexton, he kicked into the Zebre 22 and it bounced very kindly for Issa Nesewa who had plenty of time to find the onrushing Fionn Carr who had a clear run to the line. Carr's third try of the season and Leinster were motoring once again. Joe Schmidt's side secured the bonus point with a fourth try in the 59th minute and it was a really well worked move off the scrum with Denton finding Dominic Ryan who crossed for the try putting plenty of distance between the sides and also ensuring that Leinster came away with five points. Sexton converted to make it 34-17. Zebre's heads dropped and shortly after that it was try number five for the visitors. Quick thinking from O'Driscoll who found Nasewa, who in turn managed to ground the ball despite being clipped on the chin on his way through. The linesman confirming that Nasewa had got the ball down Sexton kept his 100% kicking record in the matchup by converting for 41-17. Job done for Leinster. As the game drifted into the last few minutes, Zebre made a push for the Leinster line. Substitute Carlo Festuccia was at the vanguard and he managed to get over the line for his side's third try of the match. Festuccia just managing to reach over the line. Luciano O'Kara missed a difficult conversion and it was 22-41. And that's how the game finished. Leinster getting the bonus point victory to go second in the table. And Zebra, they can take heart from three tries scored, if not a bonus point. Final score, Zebra 22, Leinster 41.